It's eight o'clock, feeling tired. I think it's because of my tooth infection, but for breakfast, I have yogurt and banana. Uh, quick coffee and snack here in the hotel. Bar before going out, and it looks like it might rain today. It's pretty cloudy. The hostel was all right. It's expensive, uh, 25 euros. The Wi-Fi didn't work in the room. Puppy. Um, but it was clean and warm. The hostel is on the outskirts of the city, so now I'm gonna walk about a kilometer and a half back to where the Camino joins up. And I'm really disappointed when I stay somewhere that's expensive but doesn't have Wi-Fi because then I can't upload my, my videos. And uploading in Spain on the Wi-Fi system takes a long time. Sometimes it takes two and a half hours just to upload a six minute video. And Esteban Church. And don't worry, I'm not going to get myself locked inside this church. Great sign. The root of wine. And I only had a glass or two last night, so I do have the rest of my wine with me for a treat later today. Town's getting decorated nicely for Christmas. This is the San Esteban Church, one of the best examples of Romanesque churches in this area. And the gallery with the seven columns dates to 1081. And it's one of the first churches of its kind to have a gallery in this style in Spain. There is a sign on the door that you can visit, but you have to call a number and you need to keep the phone. It's nice just to even walk around in the gallery. So I feel like I'm not really missing out by not being able to enter. Stop sign is knocked over. That's not good. And it's a little bit confusing with the arrows, but I'm um, pretty sure it's this way. Versus Mantanza de Soria. Usually trash bins on the outside of town. And <laughs> that's a, a weird kind of trash. Oh. Rottweiler. No bar open in that village, so continuing on. Time for another antibiotic and I have to eat with it. So I'm gonna have a banana and some cookies. My pack is actually pretty heavy because I went shopping yesterday, so I loaded it up with food. Ooh, shiny sign. And uh, farmland and going down to the next village. This is a bigger town, but still no bar open. There is a nice picnic spot and fountain on the way out of town. Feeling hot, 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 banana. -na. It's hot. I can see a snow-capped peak in the distance. Very, very far away. Zeus de Vasquez, nothing here. There are spider webs and spiders everywhere. Ugh, get off. Um, I'm getting a little frustrated because for some reason, I keep finding spiders crawling on me. I think it's because they're parachuting and flying through the air and then they're connecting with me and crawling around. And I'm very frustrated because I don't pick up hitchhikers with eight legs. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to find another person to get a ride to Burgos with. Can you guys see this? I have like a line of spider, okay, that's one spider on the end of that line. Okay, you go away. One spider web, Pfft. get off of me. And actually, I don't know if the spider's on the end of those webs or if they're on like my backpack. Ugh, ugh, spiders! Ooh. Church and this place, I, I practice pronouncing it, but I don't think I can do it right. I'm just gonna call it A to A. That lady back there on the street, and I asked her where the bar was, so she walked a bit to point it out to me. And then I think she said in Spanish, people have been talking about me walking along the road here today from San Esteban. So it's funny in small villages, everyone knows everything that's happening. I'm having a beer here, and the bartender is, he's just, he's just he gave me this really nice button for um, the town. And I'm gonna sign his guest book, and I'm the first person from Canada to come through. Wow, really, really neat. Just this beer 
and some salty meat. Watching my YouTube videos right now. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> what a great looking building for a Casa Real. I know it's noisy, sorry about that, but the bar is right there. And here is the back of the Casa Real building. Sonria. <laughs> Puppies! <laughs> Son muy bonitas, <laughs> muy cariñosa. Uh, Con este. <laughs> sí. Por mochila. Para la mochila de caminante. <laughs> Thomas is so kind, and this house is gorgeous. So he's like, "There's nobody here if you want to video some of it." So let's have a little tour. I'm on the second floor, all of these rooms have their own private bathroom, and they're very well decorated it's it's a really cool house and then there's also a couple of rooms on the first floor where i'm staying so this one is my room and um has a tv and a uh, bathroom is very nice and comfortable kind of blowing up my pilgrim budget but you know, have this toothache and it's going to take a couple days for the antibiotics to take effect. So I'm a little bit grumpy, so I want to be comfortable. I want to be as chill as this lady playing chess. This village is famous for their fountains. There are fountains all over the place and they even have a marked route. So you can see these different fountains, um, but the water is, is not good for drinking. Um, Thomas told me you'd be pretty sick if you were to just drink this, this stuff straight out. So I'm not going to taste it. Ruta de la Fuentes. There really are fountains all over the place. And another one is here. It says agua potable, but I don't think it is. I think you'd be, yeah, really sick. And what's this thing? Let's check it out. This is a strange little zoo. We have peacocks and chickens and ducks. They have a little house here. Oh. And pigeons, pheasants. Very, very weird to have all these birds hanging out in this zone. I've never seen this before in a village. This is the palace built in the 1500s. One thing I love about the Camino is all the surprises. Like, who would have thought I was going to stay in this village? I didn't intend to tonight. And look at this amazing sky. The best time out, I was wandering around the streets and there was this old woman and she starts talking to me in Spanish and then she says something about me seeing her house. So I said, okay, I'll go with you to your house. So we arrive at the front of her house and she invites me in for a coffee. So I think, yeah, okay, why not? I'll have a coffee. So she shows me around the house. She points out her family members in the pictures, some embroidery that she's done. She was the sweetest lady ever. And, um, <laughs> So I had a coffee, um, some uh, walnuts from her tree, and uh, a piece of her apple cake. And um, then afterwards, she wanted to me walk, me walk me back here to the Casa Rural. And so as we walked through the villages, she was pointing out houses that used to be shops and used to be businesses because there's hardly anyone that lives in this this village and is it has a lot of buildings but as she was explaining to me um, that 50 years ago there were big families with lots of children and it was a busy place but now all the youth they've moved away there's there's no jobs here the only job here is um, farm work and with the grapevines and you know there's there's only so much of that to go around especially with modern machinery so um, the youth have all moved on uh, her kids are now in Barcelona and um, it was it was so incredible to be to be invited into her warm home and be shown just a hospitality to a stranger passing through um, so thank you very much to Rosita. Shower time and I'm bringing my wine. Having dinner in the restaurant of Thomas's bar. 
starting off with salad. Probably a good thing I'm eating some vegetables right now. This is the wine I will be having tonight. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. My main course, I have an omelette with mushrooms and fish. And these ever delicious wine.